Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to discuss unminable. I've been seeing a lot of videos of people mining low power coins and getting paid out in coins that use more power, like maybe Neoxa that's on the Kapow algorithm, or even coins that you can't traditionally GPU mine. You can use unminable to mine Carlson and get paid out in Dogecoin or Caspa, something that is only mineable on ASICs or you can get paid out in Bitcoin. Before I jumped into Unminable, I wanted to really figure out what are Unminable's fees. On the website, it says 1%, but I don't think I believe that. And I've got a little test going today to see just what Unminable fees really are. And if you're better off mining a coin to trade ogre, and then swapping it into the coin that you would want. Which option do you come out on top? Granted, it's a lot more effort to trade to trade ogre every single day, but let's see, I've got an experiment on the way. All right, so what is this experiment that I'm conducting? If we go into my Hive OS, you can see right here, this the founder rig. It's mining half Neoxa and half Alephium, but the Neoxa, I'm actually still mining lithium, but I'm mining it to unminable and getting paid out in Neoxa. So what I've done here is I've split two 3070s and one 3060Ti on unminable and two 3070s and one 3060Ti on LOL miner mining ALF straight to trade ogre. So the goal here is after one day, and that's coming up in two hours, I'm going to deposit all my coins into Trade Ogre, all my lithium, and I'm going to swap it to Neoxa. That way I can compare how much Neoxa I got from Trade Ogre and how much Neoxa I got from Unminable from the exact same cards over the exact same period of time. And I should be able to truly calculate what fee Unminable is charging because it's not 1%. But if it's only 5%, that's still worth it to go through unminable so you're not having to send all your coins to trade ogre trade it out and then send whatever coin you traded it to to that wallet it's going to be easier during tax season you don't have to do any work at all for on the day-to-day -day basis but if that fee is like 10 percent then in, in my opinion where i'm a small miner trying to squeeze every penny i can that's just not worth it. So looking through here, you can see that I started this rig up 21 hours and 48 minutes. So this is gonna be a one day test. Ideally, I'd like to do a little longer than that, but I'm, I wanna get you guys the initial results out quick because I've been seeing a lot of unminable content on YouTube. One thing that we're gonna to have to calculate in is that the three cards that are on Regal Miner on unminable, those have slightly higher hash rates than the ones on LOL Miner. So, hey, if you guys are mining a lithium on LOL Miner, you need to switch over to Regal. Let's do a real quick calculation of the difference in these two hash rates so that at the end, when I have my dollar cost value of Neoxa, I can eliminate that percent that was gained from one having slightly increased hash rate. So we'll do... 3.796 minus 3.776.02 divided by 3.796. This rig is getting about 0.005% more hash rate than the other rig. So when we see the final numbers, we'll take that into account. The only other thing that we need to take into account is on my lithium pool that I'm mining to trade ogre. I haven't cashed it out yet. I did have five cents sitting in there. So Right now we're at 1.19, but that actually should be 1.14. But I'll see you guys in two hours and we'll do these calculations. For those of you who wanna learn a little bit more about Unminable, I'll walk you through really quickly how I have this set up. If you go to the homepage of Unminable, then you can see all these coins listed on here. So first you decide which coin do you want to get paid out in. Not which coin do you want to mine, which coin do you want to get paid out in. So let's say I want to get paid out in, I just want to go straight to Bitcoin. So I select Bitcoin here. And then this up top right here is which algorithm do you want your cards to mine to be paid out in Bitcoin. So in this case, 
I'm going to choose a low power algorithm. I'd like to have my power bill as low as possible at the end of the month. A good thing to check so you are getting the most Bitcoin possible is just really quickly go to hash rate NO and check your card. So 3060 Ti, it looks like Pyron is the top low power algorithm. So what I would do is I would go to unminable and I would select Pyron hash as what I'm going to mine with. So once you've selected Pyron hash, then it's going to give you some fields that you need to paste into your miner config in HiveOS. I'm going to be paid out in the coin Neoxa and I want to get paid out to this address. But for the pool, I'm going to select configure in miner and then I'm going to use regal miner. And if you go to set up miner config, the two things that you have to change that are different from normal is for your wallet template, you want to set it up as neox colon your address dot your worker name. So I've got neox and then the Hive OS is pasting my wallet and my worker name right here. So that's correct. And then for the pool URL, you want to use this right here. You don't have to add the stratum TCP slash slash. You can just directly paste in pyronhash.unminable.com and then either port 4444 or 3333. And then put in your overclocks. In this case, since I'm only using unminable on three devices, I have which devices I want to use. But then you can go ahead and apply your changes. And then when you go to your unminable dashboard, you should be able to see how much Neoxa you're accumulating. And this number, it's kind of cool, will just incrementally go up and you can just watch it if you just like to sit there and watch yourself make money. <laughs> it's been 23 hours and I went ahead and stopped both miners in HiveOS. And let's see how we look so far before I actually do the Trade Ogre transactions. On Unminable, we have 336.78 Neoxa, which is $1.007. And then on our pool for Elephium, we have 0.534 Elephium, which is $1.25. Right now, before the Trade Ogre fees, it's looking like the Trade Ogre is about 25% more profitable than Unminable, which is a pretty significant amount. So let me get these deposited into Trade Ogre and I'll show me doing that transaction and see where we actually came out. Maybe it'll be slightly closer after the Trade Ogre fees. Alephium, while I was waiting for my payment, went crazy. It went up like 5%. So that was going to kind of skew the results of the test. So what I did was I just made sure that I had exactly $1.20 Alephium in Trade Ogre. I subtracted that five cents that we had in Hero Miners that was before the experiment. Now I need to sell this Alephium. So if I go to Market, Alf, USDT, sell. So already down to $1.18. And now we need to buy our Neoxa. Okay, so we ended up with 393 Neoxa for 107. So it's actually got a lot closer. For Trade Ogre, we got 393 Neoxa, and that was a dollar seventeen, dollar oh seven. Okay, and then that's the same since we already did the adjustment. And now for unminable, we ended up getting paid 337.107. And that was 337, 1.011. So our Neoxa adjustment, we need to take off 0.5%. So that will be this number minus this number times 0 0.005 so 335 and i'm not even going to take into account the dollar values let's switch this to equals this this 
divided by this. So your total fee that you're losing, 14.65%. That's just above what I would consider probably I wouldn't do it unless there's just some coin I'm really trying to accumulate. The last thing to take into account is that the bigger your deposits into Trade Ogre, the better it's gonna come out ahead of Unminable. That's because those five cent fees that were really hurting us, that brought us down from $1.2 to $1.07, those are gonna be basically insignificant when you're depositing like $100 into Trade Ogre and taking that 13 cent fee but unminable is still going to be getting the same amount so it probably is closer to about that 25 percent mark when you're working with bigger values let me know what you guys think if you have any other experiments you'd like me to run or if i did something wrong in this one let me know and i'll see you guys next video peace